Hi everybody, I'm back with another short video. I am just attempting to try some things to see um, if it works or not. So uh, I'm doing this video. I'm going to type up um, a text using the typable fonts that I have. And then I'm going to put a shape into it and see how that works. So here we go. I'm going to type them boys just to be doing something and i'm going to center it and i've tried it with a couple of different fonts i find that this one kind of works better um, i'm going to use the sports heavy font rso that i have that i've gotten um this one i got from ocean rhinestone ocean and then I'm going to go, I know what my font has to be for this one. So it's 129. Um, if you get anything from Rhinestone Ocean, like a set of fonts, he gives you this guy that works great. So you can go on there and check it out. He's on Etsy. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to change the color of this just so I can get more clarity as to what I'm doing. So I change this to blue. And then I'm also going to make my template for this, my rhinestone template. So um I'm gonna make a square. I always, always want to make you always want to make a template, even if you're doing something different with it. I just always on the safe side make sure that I have um this template, the rhinestone template. There it is. Okay. Sorry guys, my computer's working a little slow today. Then I put it behind, flip it behind. And I think that's good. And then I'll go ahead and um do both of them together. And I just did that by hitting the shift button and clicking both uh layers. And I'll slice it. And when you slice it, it's going to come out in three layers, different slice results. It's going to come out with the original font or text that you typed. It's going to come out with the box, um, which is that. And I want to take that one out because not that. That's not what I want to take out, this box. This box is actually going to be, if I had it so that you can see, this box is actually the template you would use for the flock if you just want to do it that way um so i'm keep that i'm just gonna hide it but this one is the black one and i don't need it because these are actually just the black holes that were cut out of the square and i don't need that see so i'm gonna delete that one so i always want to keep it you always want to keep your original typed font so that's why i changed the color of it so i can make sure that i knew what that was so that's this right here so just in playing around with things i thought it would be cool if i made it like a star right in this area right here so that i could maybe make a rhinestone template with the star in it so i went to my shapes and i got the star which is right here and so what i did was i kind of just navigated the star to where you can you can do it like on a letter like one letter if you want to just try it on one letter you know just to play around with it so like just for instance if i wanted to just play with it and just have it for one letter i can just keep it right here the important thing is that you want to make sure that all of the points hit something so that it actually look like a star if that makes sense in the letter right So like for instance, I wanted to make sure that it all hit. So there's a point right there. And then you also want to make sure that you are not clicking any, um, making it any um, split circles, except for at the point. The point is fine, but like here and here and here. So you can either do it this way or you can make a bigger, bigger one. So I'll just like 
duplicate this one. And I'll have one of them. It's not the one I wanted to have. Yes, it is. I want to have that one. Or you can just try to make it a bigger uh, star. For the whole wording. Okay. All right, there it is. Sorry, my... Again, my... um. My computer's running kind of slow. So I can just kind of want to make sure that it's, you know, kind of, you want to make sure that the points hit on very obvious places. And at the same time, you do not want to um, split the circles like that. Otherwise, you can do it. You just have to go in there and um, contour or change the contour of it. So. Like everything is hitting except for this one right here. It's not hitting the way I want it to. You can also switch this so you can like rotate it if you wanted to. I don't want to rotate it. I just want it to be where I need it to be. So like for instance, that's still like that. That's okay. I think that's okay. I think. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah, I think that's okay. So as you can see, this star shape will be kind of in the middle of the word them boys. So I'm going to capture that and then I'm going to slice it. Okay, as you can see, I have the it's cutting in threes like it's supposed to. I have this template which I want to keep because if I'm doing a um if I'm doing it in the rhinestone uh flock template I want to keep this because I now I have two segments that I have to use to actually make my transfer. So I want to keep that so I'm going to hide that one. The black part I don't need necessarily um because it's just the black dots. So I'm going to delete that. But I do see where my circle is right here. And I do see where it's kind of cut in the circles. So this is my star right here. This is my actual star. So I'm going to change the color of it so that you can see it. So you see there's a star inside of the uh, template. It says them boys. Now, if I wanted to, I can keep this attached. And I or not attached, but grouped. I can group them together. And then if I group these two together, if I group them together, then I can actually um, do a spangle template with this. So the spangle is the faux rhinestone look. It has the look of a rhinestone, but it's not actually a rhinestone. It's just holographic HTV. Okay, so I can keep it like this. I can switch it around. I can make it bigger a little bit because I can do that because I'm doing spangles. Now, if I'm not doing spangles and I'm just use, I really want to do this as a SST and rhinestone template. I have to keep this the same. I cannot change it. I cannot change the the sizing or anything. I have to keep it the same. So, um, it's just according to your preference. Now, what I do want to do is since this is a two part uh template. I want to hide this one. And as you can see, there's my star. But I actually want to make a template with just this uh, flock template. Because if I'm doing rhinestones, I, I, want, I have two parts to it. So I'm just going to make another one. I'm going to put it to the back so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to lower this down a little bit. All right, so there we go. So, bring the square down a little bit. And I'm going to close it in a little bit because I want to save as much material as possible. So, that's that. So, now I want to take attach that to this one, the slice result one. And then I want to slice it.
and again you're going to see the three different slice results for, for from it when i'm done okay and now it shows up right here so this again i don't need that's the black one this is what i do want i'm gonna hide that but then you see you as you can see this is now the template that i need for the that part with without the star and then this is the one that i need with the star so i'll um, okay and then No, nope, that's not the star. That's the regular star. <laughs> Hide that one. Oops. Oh, this is the one I want. I'm sorry. I'm tripping. Because it has the holes to it. So I bring this, I'm going to bring this up to the front. Okay. Then as you can see, here's my two templates right there. And then I could change this color to the silver because that's what I know silver to be. But then if you do that, that's going to change the uh, actual, just the shape of it. So then if I use this one and I change this to blue, then you're going to see the blue background on it. Okay. So that's what you see. But actually, this is fine. I just now know. This is what the star looks like. So what I do, what I would do is I would actually spread my stones on here and then spread my stones on here and then just take it, take it from that, take it and put them together. So that's how I would do that. Um, but I was just playing around just to see how that would look and how that would work to see if it would go together. And I think I might be up to something, but you can always tweak it, play with it and do what you do um one of the things that you probably would have to mess with is the circles itself because as you can see it kind of slice some of the circles so what you would probably have to do is you probably have to go into your contour and when you go into your contour that's where you can kind of mess with the circles like for instance contouring takes a long time but if you hit the contour button it'll show all the different circles and then you just find these circles that you could actually get rid of or not get rid of. It'll be up to you, whichever way you choose. So um, there you have it. I was able to make a template with a shape in it and now use it as a rhinestone.